Let's make umami bomb udon from my cookbook, Indulging Eats at Home. First, let's cook our mushrooms since these take about five to seven minutes to cook. What's great is that you can keep frozen mushrooms on hand in the freezer. They're always gonna taste good since they're picked at their peak of freshness and they add so much umami and flavor. So we're just gonna heat a little bit of olive oil to add our frozen mushrooms straight from frozen. And these are gonna release some water. That's totally fine because it'll add some of those mushroom juices and flavor into your sauce. You're basically looking for them to be fully cooked through and nice and soft. Now, while those are cooking, we're gonna prepare our sauce. So in here, I've got miso paste, tobanjan, which is a Chinese spicy bean paste that's also frequently used in Japanese cooking, an egg and some parmigiano, and we're just gonna blend this all together. Now, the miso is not going to combine very well. What we're gonna actually do is use the noodle water to help melt that. So here's our cooked udon. A little tip for you guys is instead of using a colander to drain it, just use chopsticks and throw it straight into the bowl you're actually gonna serve it in. It'll actually help heat up the bowl. That way you have a nice warm bowl for your udon and it saves you a bowl to wash. And then here we have our noodle water. So you just wanna add a little bit into your egg and parmigiano and miso mixture. And what this is also going to do is it's going to help temper the eggs. So right now our eggs are probably a little bit cold. By adding the hot water in and mixing it together, it helps bring the temperature of the eggs up. That way you're not going to get scrambled eggs, which I see so often with carbonara-like dishes. So we're just going to add a little bit of water, maybe like a tablespoon. So now it's time to bring it all together. I'm gonna add the noodles straight into our mushrooms. Get that nice and combined. Get all those mushroom juices onto your udon. And then turn off the heat. Very important. We're gonna pour in our sauce and have your chopsticks ready. We're gonna pour it in and then immediately agitate the noodles. It's cooking the eggs with the residual heat of the pan. But you can see that it's a nice creamy sauce. We're not getting any scrambled egg action happening. And so once that's all good, you can put it back into your bowl. Look at that creamy sauce. Oh, some black pepper. You basically want to make like a little nest for your egg. And then we're going to add our egg right into the middle. Finish it with some more Parmigiano. And if you like it really spicy, like I do, I like to add a little more chili flake right onto the egg. So it also just looks nice. And there you have it. Umami bomb udon. Let's do it. You want to just, oh, humana, humana, humana. How sexy is that? Just stir it all together. Oh, so creamy. So I'm also using this Inaniwa udon. It's like a flat. Udon, I just love the texture, so. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. It's basically like a miso, a spicy miso carbonara. Mmm. Mmm. It's got the cheese. Got the mushrooms. It's got the depth of flavor from the Dobon John spicy bean paste. You got a little bit of bite from the scallion. Mmm. Mmm. Even better, it came together in like less than 10 minutes, which is amazing. Um, if you want, you could definitely add meat to this, so you could crisp up some bacon instead of, or 
in addition to the mushrooms. This is an awesome vegetarian noodle dish that you just keep wanting to make over and over. And if you want it to taste a bit more of like a traditional carbonara, but with a little bit of Asian flair, um, you could just use the misa. And you can add the heat from your chili flakes instead of tobanjan. Or, it is a great base recipe for a lot of different dishes. So you can make it a little bit Korean by using gochujang. You can also make this with spaghetti. Or any other noodle dish. I just love udon. Because, again, it cooked in one minute. One minute, guys. It'll take you longer to gather your ingredients than cook your noodles. I was also so hungry, so it was perfect. And so easy to make if you have all the ingredients on hand. So like, here's your tobanjan, this is the miso. These both last in the fridge forever. And as mentioned, we used frozen mushrooms, which also last in your freezer forever. Blue don't last forever. And then for your scallions, you can actually grow them on your windowsill. So every time you buy scallions, just put them in a glass of water and keep it by your windowsill and you'll always have scallions on hand. So the really the only ingredient you might need is like the Parmigiano, which I personally also always have, have on hand because I add on to everything. If you have the proper Parmigiano that's aged for you know 12 to 24 months, it's already been aged for over a year. A few more months and you're, you know, it's not gonna go bad, so it'll also last a really long time. Yeah, buy all these ingredients, make this, let me know what you think. And I hope it gets you excited for my cookbook. Pre-order it via the link in the description below. I'm just really excited for you guys to eat this. Because, yeah, I mean. If you like this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe. That way you can get more previews from my cookbook. This is one of many videos I'm doing, both in terms of promoting the book, but also instructing you and teaching you how to do the techniques in the book. So in this case, we tempered eggs. We combine flavors to make a sauce, um, just because I think it's easier to see things from a visual perspective. So get your copy of Indulgent Eats at home, and stay tuned for more videos. See ya! So good. Let's turn it up.